This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of the second and third trimester. Equipment required includes the following. An ultrasound machine. A selection of transducers. An examination table. Positioning aids such as pillows or sponges. An ergonomically adjustable chair and a chair for the partner or other companion of the patient. Acoustic gel. Probe cover. Examination gloves, bed linen and towels, and a sonographer's worksheet. Select the standard preset for second and third trimester sonography. Introduce yourself to the patient. Confirm patient details and clinical information. Briefly explain the procedure to the patient and obtain verbal consent. Ask the patient to lie supine on the examination table with the use of pillows and foam wedges for comfort if required. Enter the patient's details and last normal menstrual period into the ultrasound machine. Sit or stand next to the patient's right side with the ultrasound machine to the left upper end of the examination table. Alternatively, if you are left-handed, sit or stand on the patient's left-hand side with the ultrasound machine to the right upper end of the examination table. Expose the lower abdomen and apply gel as required. Select the appropriate transducer. Confirm the correct transducer selection preset. Perform a survey scan of the maternal pelvis and fetus. The second trimester ultrasound examination is a routine anatomy examination commonly performed between 18 and 22 weeks gestation. To determine fetal lie and presentation, place the transducer in the longitudinal plane with the lower edge of the transducer just superior to the symphysis pubis. Manipulate the transducer until a suitable image of the uterus is obtained. Slide the transducer to the mother's left and right to view the fetal head. Slide and rock the transducer until the fetal spine is identified. Rotate the transducer until the fetal head and body are on the same image. Freeze the image. Annotate the scan plane and fetal lie and position. Save the image and unfreeze to continue scanning. Return the transducer to the long axis of the fetus to locate the heart. Rotate the transducer into the transverse position to observe the